the girl a runnin' in our group. She had a high-speedin' motor in a 44 coupe. She had a racing cam and a supercharge. Look out, buddy, hot rod and large. She's a hot rod. She's a hot rod. She's my hot rod. AM 1420, 95.1 FM, WIMS, Talk of the South Shore. Big George joining us here on WIMS. What is going on, my friend? How's your day so far? Oh, I got to tell you, it's really nice out this way. I don't know. I heard your weather report earlier. I thought, man, I, that's not a, that, we're going to get nice weather here. It's supposed to, anyway. Well, we're supposed to have a 50 on Sunday. Okay. I'll take a 50 on Sunday. In fact, I'm taking sunny 40 plus today. Friday will give us sunny and 40. I mean, they are calling for a little snow and that wimpy freezing rain and sleet. Who cares? Right? <laughs> a little wimpy freezing you know, rain like, and get sleet. Get it out of There's here. that crashes all the cars. Right. And then uh, Saturday. <laughs> makes, makes driving absolutely treacherous. Well, here's the problem that you got. You know, when you're, when you're doing stuff and you look at all the craziness that's going on, you get below that 32 degrees and then people start uh, sliding around. That is my, that is what I'm most afraid of when I travel between Illinois, Indiana, and Michigan daily. Seriously. When it yeah, drops. I don't mind the snow. It's that, it's that ice you can't see. Snow. Yeah, exactly. That's By the, the way. That's scary stuff. And that, that's, you know, all the traction controls and special electronics on your car in the world aren't going to stop you from sliding away. Thank you. I agree with you 100%. Not going to um, happen. Well, speaking of that, too, also, we were watching a big accident yesterday near Calumet Avenue, my ride in, it was in the 3 o'clock hour. These two semis collided, and it was brutal. And everybody's got a gape on both sides, and then you got all the craziness going on. But, you know, between these crazy winter storms, and I call it the three or four weather patterns of Illinois, Indiana, Michigan, you never know what to expect. But I know on Saturday mornings at 10 a.m., bright and early, that Big George the Car Guy, executive producer, Tim Saldana, you guys jump on the air and you talk cars and recalls. What are we talking about this week coming up Saturday at 10 a.m., buddy? Well, we got our usual recalls and stuff, but there's nothing real bad there. Recalls have been going down this year, and it's a pretty good good thing. But we do have more news in the, in the Dakota airbag business. Man, the Senate subcommittee has, has filed a complaint, and is, they're having a hearing. With Ford, I think it's Ford, Toyota, or Ford, Honda, and uh, Key, Key Safety System. That's that Michigan firm up by Detroit that bought Takata. Yes. And they're they're just going to have, it's just not going fast enough. People are still getting killed by these airbags. And they're not, they're, the recall is not getting handled properly. Ford is the one that really, you know, didn't really get involved, involved, involved. The next thing you know, this last year, two people have been killed in Ford Rangers. Wow. By Takata's airbags. Holy cow. Yeah, so, so now Ford's on the bubble. You know, the, the Congressional Subcommittee wants to know what Ford's going to do about that. Are you going to? Ford actually came out with a please don't drive order on 33,000 old, old Ford Rangers. These are old, 2005, 2006. Unbelievable. They're, 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 the killer airbags are still out there and they're still haunting us. Well, you all this time, I got to tell you, you look at that big George and you say, wow. And I, I think of my truck. I'm at I'm an 08 to 18. So I, my truck is now a solid 10 years old with 472,000 miles on it. And, exactly. you know, and I look at that, and I'm like, man, people better, you know, kind of step up. What would you suggest people do if they do have a Ranger in that year? Should they bring it in or what would you they, say? They, they almost have to get it to someone like either to a mechanic or to Ford. And if they can't replace it or repair it, they need to get it to get it uh, to take it out. Okay. Because see, you don't even have to. It doesn't have to be hooked up to be deadly. Even a hot, humid day, if the sun's shining through the windows and the windows are rolled up and it gets to be 110 inside that car, that airbag will explode. Just sitting there. Unreal. Hey, so I- you got you got. <laughs> This this has just got something that's got to get fixed, and nobody, everybody's dragging their feet on it. And the more they drag their feet, of course, the less cars there are to repair because of accidents or junkyards or, you know, guys wear them out. Or it's called attrition, and they save a lot of money by that, but people are getting killed, and that's what Congress is after them about. Hey, let's get these airbags, let's get this recall fixed. Let's not worry about how much we can save by dragging our feet. I'm with you. Big George on the horn. It's Rick Federici, 640 WIMS. I uh, want to throw this out there to you, Big George. Uh, it's obviously we're going into spring and summer. What should we be doing 
as a car owner, as a truck owner, you know, to get it ready for, you know, the next three to six months. I mean, obviously we're, we're blown through winter, a lot, a lot of, you know, wear and tear on the car during the bad months. But what, what should we do as we roll into spring and summer? Anything you could throw out well, there? Well, actually, we, I got to tell you something. We sell more batteries in the summer than we do in the winter. Wow. So you want to get that battery checked for okay. sure. Number two, your antifreeze mixture is just as important in the summer as it is in the winter. You could overheat or be, or have uh, cooling system problems with a bad antifreeze mixture in the summer just as well as winter. Mm-hmm. So there's all this stuff that's got to be fixed. But you know what? Traditionally, this is our favorite time of year in the mechanics business, simply because everybody's rolling down the windows now because the weather's nice, and they can hear all those nasty noises their car's making from the winter. So they're running in saying, hey, they better check my brakes, better check my exhaust, better check this, better check that. Because there's all this squeaking and growling and what happened? I didn't hear that because you had the windows up all winter. Now you hear it when you roll the window down. Well, you know, what's funny is, uh, you know, Nick Cohn, our good guy, our operations manager up at our other uh, brother station, WHFB in St. Joe, Baton Harbor, he was pulling into the driveway the other day for a news meeting we were having here with a bunch of people, some of our partners, and he pulls in and I'm pulling out just, you know, to do a few things. And I roll down the window and I hear his car and it's a new car. It was making all kinds of crazy noise. I go, first off, have you had this thing, you know, tuned up in a while? He goes, I just had the oil change. I go, okay, number one. Number two, where did you get your gas? And he told me where he got his gas. And I immediately said, dude, that is your problem. That is the biggest problem, the craziness. Uh, So also putting in good gas. And I always throw this out there, you know, because I always top off daily. And when I'm doing 1,500 miles a week, you know, about 50 to 60,000 a year on my truck, you know, I always put in at least a tank or two of premium twice a month. You know, and doesn't I don't hurt. Know, doesn't you know, hurt a bit, Rick. You have to mix that in there and get a nice clean burn. You know, the, the cleaner your, your truck can burn, the better, the longer it's going to last. That's your, that's just the way it is. Well, I am with you 100%. Well, Tim Sodana is your executive producer. We got Jackie Beisel back here at the Dials for WIMS on Saturday morning starting at 10. And then, of course, 11 a.m. with our good buddy Nick Cohn up at WHFB 928 Car Guys. Saturdays, we've got him on the dial, all, all four of our radio stations. And not only that, but on the live stream, the TuneIn app, Facebook Live. We do radio TV. And it is great. Uh, here's one for you. Here's an instant text. George, the battery in my truck keeps crusting over. Is there anything I could do to stop that? Thank you for the instant text and your uh, your answer to that, Big George. Well, you clean it up good. And then every so often, if you want a cheap way to fix that, I don't put those those things on the on – the, absolutely do not put those little rings on the uh, place where – the anodes where you connect your wires and connect your cables – those things are terrible. If nothing else, take a bottle of Coke and pour it on the battery once a month. You It'll know, clean it up. It's funny you say that because when I went to Catholic school for all those years, uh, the one time not only did I win regionals, went downstate and did, you know, competed in the country, it was, and this was in third grade, the effects of pop on rust. And the way I did it was I took steel wool pads, you know, poured the coke over. Now, this goes back. I'm 51. So this goes back many, many years. But I'm not kidding you. I had little Petri dishes. People loved it. And as I kept going up the ladder and winning and all that other stuff, it was crazy. But, yep, you're right. That uh, pop, that coke. But it's got to be Coca-Cola. Can't be anything else. RC won't work. Can I tell you what? It won't work. This is what happened to me the other day, and I've got to wrap it up, because I've got Carl and uh, Joanne coming in to talk about some cool stuff right here in our backyard. The other day, uh, there was a small leak in our driveway. Someone had pulled up one of my daughter's friends. She was home from college, and they had a little clunker. So I go outside, and I see this oil spill inside of the you know the the actual outside so i get over there and i hose it i get over there and i hose it and then what happens is i uh i use coke because i've done that before i am not kidding you it came right up came right oh, up yeah. you clean it right up i'm telling you absolutely and then, crazy and of course she who will be obeyed my lovely wife she drinks that stuff like it's yeah. water she loves coca-cola i, yeah. I don't want to see her inside no water that's it <laughs> Big George, we'll see you on Saturday here on the dial, 10 a.m. on WIMS, 11 a.m. on WHFB, okay? Absolutely, my friend. Rock on, man. You too. See ya. AM 1420, 95.1 FM, WIMS, Michigan City, a Gerard Media Company, streaming live at WIMSradio.com.